what's on this table it's around 189 dollars there are a few um indulgences in here not that many um and i'm gonna show you later a video on how i meal plan all this food to last me for the week i'm hoping that these snacks are gonna last me or the whole week usually they're the first to go but anyway so let's go with the beginning um i this is a combination of um okay this is a combination of woolies and coals um i only bought the drinks from reject shop because they were cheaper and then there's a local shop for our some of our um, fruit and veg so i'm just gonna start with the beginning the thing that is actually missing on the table right now there's two big bottles of three liters of milk those were 350 each um then in the snacks department which my husband and my daughter will eat very quickly are the doritos these were um doritos and the thins were half price so 175 one bag and 175 each then from reject shop i found these two liters of drinks for 185 when at all the other shops they're like two dollar fifteen so i saved myself about 30 30 cents in there i'm having my daughter's party coming on next weekend so i got some snacks for the kids um the south patch kids were two dollars and then some of these Allen gummies, they were $1.50 from $3, so I bought two of those. This is my son's favorite, they're $3.50. They last me about two weeks. This is a pack of snacks for school lunches, and um, it costed $5.50, and it comes with five of all of those which is 20 packs in total and i have to say um compared to the any two for five or seven that i normally buy and it's like literally just 10 packs of it um this is a much better deal definitely i've saw a lot of other people buying that i'm not sure if these packets are new and stuff but yeah now this is mom's favorite um three dollar for me and then i thought i'll try some biscuits one dollar eighty two um, and then also for me, um, this was on special again, two dollars. I think normally it's about three fifty or something like that. Can't remember. Uh, I needed some more table salt, uh, and that was ninety cents for the kilo. And then some French fries. We're gonna have those as well for like the party, which is uh, one eighty nine. Sometimes I put them for the lunch. And then spaghetti. I totally ran out, and that was. Mm, how much 80 cents or 85 cents 80 cents one then i got here some triple smoked leg ham which uh, my kids like with the, the lunches for school and that was 525 for 200 grams it was 26 dollars a kilo i think some spinach which i kind of put in mostly all the casserole foods uh, and that was 95 cents and um, this is on special uh 450 so half price and it's good until march next year so even if we don't have it now because it's winter here we could always have it in summer this is my son's favorite and i paid four dollars for it um yeah a bit a lot um now for a while we've started having these um fresh juice once a week especially with our heavy breakfasts on the weekend so um normally this is five dollars i don't pay more than five dollars for this kind of juice if i can't find it then i don't buy it but this was four dollar fifty on special um some pasta salad because tonight we're having some t-bones barbecue um and i'm gonna have some pasta salad so as a side dish and that was three dollars bacon i normally divide this in two and it lasts me for two separate breakfasts um and this is ten dollars for the one kilo um it's middle bacon and we like it a bit more fatty 
because you get a little bit more flavor. So, like I said, T-bones, um, they're normally around $24, $26 at Coles or Woolies. And I've bought, well, I think there are three cuts in here for $17.47. That's pretty good. And two cuts in there for $12.94. So normally I would have paid mm, $40 for four. And I definitely paid less than that. Okay. Um... This is the biggest special of all time. I really like this type of meat. We have it a lot in my country, but it's not something that it's quite available in here. It was usually $10 and it was down to $2. And I really, yeah, couldn't miss this opportunity. So I got that. Now, this is normally $6.50 and that's just some veal means. Um, and I got it only for $5. Not much of a big special, but any dollar counts and then there's some chicken breast um, this wasn't on special and I really needed it for one of the meals I'm gonna make this week so this was six dollars for 500 grams I think yep yeah, that's right this is one of my favorites the apricot um, yogurt these were on special one dollar fifty surely with two three dollars and put another dollar you can buy a big pack but they don't really have the apricots one in the big pack and i really fancied for myself to have like a healthy snack hard and soft taco kit um these were half price for 350 and we quite like to have um, taco. Um, I like the soft one, my husband likes the hard one, so this is a good mix. Um, then I bought this stand and stuff. I know they're meant to be for taco, but I've been craving burrito bowls like no tomorrow because there's a very nice um, Mexican restaurant in here that makes the burrito bowls and, um, oh, yeah burrito bowls or you can have it as a roll as well but i really really like it and i normally pay about 12 dollars for one so i was really hoping that i could make my own i should have bought some avocado i forgot mm. anyway so for the burrito bowl um so i have the uh, the taco kit thing that has the tortilla some spice mix and salsa for topping and i'm gonna add some of my own things and then um i bought some black beans and i also bought this one because i know they do have it the refried beans that they put it on a tortilla at the bottom and i really like that so i'm gonna not Okay, and um, I also got this Mexican spice. It was two fifty, and I thought I might just try this. You can just—it's like some sort of a seasoning, and you can add it into the. Um, I mean, it already has some, but it's good to have a little bit more. I like it flavorsome. One twenty-five. This it lasts me for a month with all my cooking and everything. I know it says. After you open it, I put it in the fridge and use it within a few days. But, nah, it lost me a month. And, yeah, they're really good. Now, my favorite coffee, which is normally $6, was again, um, I think it was three fifty this time. And because it's such an expensive coffee, when I find it half price, I buy quite a lot of it. Normally, I buy more than 10 But today, I bought two for six. Six of them. So that was kind of a bit of an add-up. I found some pears on special for 226 from 290 not much but still count these were different type of pears for 182 from 350 some normal spinach for 234 from three dollars um and the royal gala apples my kids really like these was 490 um the grapes were 356 one sweet potato that was 320 the bananas only these guys were 162 um the navel oranges were on special to a local shop 267 so i bought like this five of them in there these were 99 cents a kilo and in and the whole bag costed me 98 cents, so almost a kilo. And I know this is a little bit of a splurge because really you can cut your own uh, carrots. You don't have to have them pre-packed. But 
uh, on my very busy weeks when I work, it's so easy to have everything done up already. Anyway, so and because these were on special, I bought them two twenty for four dollars. And then the bread, I took two of those. That's one sixty each. And then I also have about four kilos of potato that were like. Um, Again, 99 cents, and I paid about 4.27 for all of this. So that was a pretty good deal because I really, uh, we really eat a lot of potatoes in the house. Now I'm gonna put all this away, and I'm kind of gonna tell you what I plan to cook for the week. One of the nights, I am going to have the stand and stuff. Um, taco kit which is actually going to be turned up like in a burrito bowl but because I didn't really have beef means I'm going to use the veal one um yeah pretty much that's what's going to happen and um so these were the ones that I bought um that was 350 that was three dollars three dollars and 250 and this is some leftover sour cream um these were some tomatoes that I had in house and we also have some corn so we're just going to have this for one night and tonight we're going to have barbecue um so I'm gonna I've only bought one tray out just for this video I'm going to use that and um a side dish I'm gonna have some pasta salad um, I'm gonna make some pan potatoes just this one potato for reference I use about four five of them um, and some pumpkin now this pumpkin I bought from a local store uh, store and um, it's only half of it left um, and I paid five dollars for the whole with whole um, with this half I used a few slices for the pumpkin strudel and I had another few slices for two dinners. So there's going to be just probably about that much that I'm going to use for this dinner. And I'm also going to make um, some fresh salad, which I normally do. Um, and you make that with some tomatoes. I have a, this is a cucumber that I had before um, that's left over. Um, I had these beautiful capsicums. They were five for five dollars at a local store and I have one left. So that's still going to work. And uh, a little bit of lettuce that I had from a previous week and that's going to be tonight's dinner. Okay, so the next dinner is called ground Kang Pao chicken. Now, obviously, this recipe is kind of like altered to whatever I have in the pantry already. But basically, you meant to have some um, chicken mince, um, some zucchini, but these are zucchini that I had in my garden. And because I had so much, I um, chopped some and froze. So I would just take some from there and add it in whatever casserole. You meant to use some wine, um, some red bell pepper, uh, some crushed ginger and crushed garlic and uh, you probably meant to have shallots or green onion but I don't have any of that and we've been using the chives that we had in our garden and I, fr I chopped them and froze them and I um, used them to substitute for that so I'll probably be using some of that and after you mix all these ingredients with some oil and just fry it and put all the seasonings and stuff um, you just serve that with some rice so that's going to be another dinner it's going to be some beef meatloaf this is some beef that I had from the previous week that I've bought this is only for um, 500 grams so I've bought like a big one kilo for about ten dollars and this is only about five dollars um, so basically I'm gonna flatten this and make it like a roll and I'm going to add some ham a little bit from the ham that I bought um, I had some leftover cheese and I'm going to add some spinach and I'm going to roll it and put it in the oven and then I'm going to serve it with some um, steamed broccoli and I'm going to use uh, uh, maybe a little bit of half of this sweet potato and I still have some of the white potatoes I could probably make a mash with it or I can use I could um, serve with, with um, some pasta and some gravy. So that's another 
night's dinner for all of us. Now, I also have in the fridge that I cooked last night, um, I still have some leftover spaghetti, so that's probably going to be for tomorrow night. And um, I think that's about it for the week. Some of these dinners will probably last us for two nights. Thanks for watching this video. The app that I use is called Buy Me a Pie and it's basically making your own grocery list you will have to introduce first all the items that you normally buy and uh, then all you do every time you make your shopping list you just tap on the item and it will come up on the top of your list and you do your shopping and once you're done with it you just take it off and you go back into the main list and yeah that's it you'll just have it on your phone all the time you can add all sorts of information to it like the amount or price or where you're going to buy it for from so it's going to make it easier for you um i'm just using the free version and this is definitely not i'm not affiliated with this whatsoever this is not a sponsored um, tip or anything like that this is just something that I found by myself on the internet and um, I decided to use it and it really works for me it works much better than um, I don't know walking around with the notepad or an agenda or anything so I'm just showing this in the video how I add the items you can color code them if you want um, yeah, you'll just have to do a big work in the beginning where you're going to introduce everything manually. But um, after that, it should be easy peasy. And then once um, I do my shopping list and that's based on whatever special zone and what I have in my pantry I and whatever I plan to eat. And for that, I'm using Pinterest. And on Pinterest, I have a folder called Recipes and I have all sorts of recipes that I found through time um, so all I do is um, rather than having to sort through all of them to just browse through all of them I just select the recipes that I like uh, based on whatever I have in my pantry and on whatever specials there are and I select the recipes and I Put them into a different folder which I call next week and I'll always refer to that folder for that particular week whenever I need to cook something if it's something that I don't know exactly how to cook it or I need a little bit more um, information or practice there's a lot of things that I probably done a few times in my life but I don't do them often so that's why I need to have a look on the recipe again and once I'm done with it I'll just select them out of that folder and I put them back into the recipes and then next week I start all over again anyway thanks very much for watching this channel I hope you give it a thumbs up thank you